Let's go to 36. Mr. Previn, are you here? Mr. Previn, Eric Previn. Item 36. Mr. Previn, welcome. Uh, good morning, Council President Wesson. That was a deeply moving presentation to Mr. Legrand of the planning group. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mr. Wiesar, for bringing such uh, clarity to that one. Um, this is a Wiesar Martinez motion. And uh, two words must be put, brought forward, which is thank you. Because the city, as we all know, is in a bit of a tailspin, though we are getting ready for the Olympics. But, but sir, this is going to make a big difference. Because this is, if I'm not mistaken, $20,000 in District 14. Uh, apportionment from the Street Furniture Revenue Fund, and what we're going to go for here uh, is the maintenance of planters uh, and related beautification efforts on Broadway and downtown. Now, that is going to send to our great street program and to the people of L.A. the correct message, that we are ready to show some nice planters and some cleaned-up streets to anybody who wants to visit Los Angeles, including, by the way, sir, the 45 million, I think it was up to 45 million, someone will correct me, but a lot of tourists are coming now and they're liking what they're seeing, and in particular, they're appreciating the planter work we're doing. Uh, I, I know that in my community, in CD2, today on the agenda, Krikorian is out preparing for his next meeting, uh, we have some great planters coming forward, and we also have not just great planters, but Stay we have a $25,000 charge for the... Stay on it, Eric. I'm telling you back. back You're bringing me back? Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate for, I appreciate that. Um, that's for congestion uh, reduction, uh, calming... Uh, congestion issues in, in CD2. So we will be looking forward to that. We, uh, we have been building upward, thanks to Mr. Legrand, Mr. Wiesar, and the guys up in Plum who rubber stamp things very quickly. And then there's no need to speak to this whole council because the other 10 members who are here are busy, sir. They're not interested in the little abnegations and violations of the various code that some of the skillful guys who work in the planning team, and not just on the team, but at the lobbyist level helping out, uh, have been working nicely to uh, obfuscate and make almost impossible to check some of the activity. So, sir, with that, I look forward to these planters. I hope that they're the kind that give a kind of a feeling Thank of you. warmth. Thank you. Thank sir. you, Mr. Previn. Members, let's prepare to vote on that item. Let's open the roll, close the roll, tabulate the vote. Twelve ayes. Okay, now what I'm going to do uh, today, I think I'm going to take up some general public comment cards now. We'll take up some of them, and then uh, towards the end we'll take up more. So at this time, I would like to call Loretta Stevens. Please come forward. Right. Brother Wright. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, City Council. I want to open it up. I'm with the Los Angeles Black Workers Center and the L.A. Coalition Against Wage Theft. We just came from a march and rally to stop employment discrimination and to stand for racial equity and economic justice. Everybody that participated is standing, and a lot of people had to leave, but wage theft and discrimination is a crime. We gave you a packet of information. The first is a letter from coalition partners throughout L.A., a diverse list calling for enforcement of anti-discrimination laws and civil rights protection for equal employment opportunity, which are critical to addressing the black job crisis. E equity means fairness. Mm -hmm. It means justice. The other thing we gave you is a, ch a sheet on the challenges black workers have, access, retention, name bias, and gender biases. And you, we've talked to you guys a lot about this issue before, but the problem is in... Thank can I Finish your last okay. sentence. Uh, discrimination complaint resolution process, Human Relations Commission, Racial Thank Equity you. Initiative. Thank you. No justice. Thank no you. Peace. Mr. Wright. Yeah. Regina Freer. Sophia Chin, good, good morning. to see you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Samboya Wright. I am an executive board member of SEIU Local 721. I'm also the chair of uh, Local 721's African American Caucus. And I'm a city employee. Uh, there's 50% uh, unemployment and underemployment uh, in our communities, uh, especially in um, Council District 8, 9, 10, and 15. Um, we elected you guys to represent all of your constituents 
um, and we're asking you to um, basically step up and uh, listen to the Los Angeles Black Workers Center um, and the coalition, uh, all the community uh, groups, and uh, set the standard. Set the standard here, right here. You guys have the authority to set the standard. Set the standard here and uh, set it so we can move it on over throughout Los Angeles County. Thank you. Thank you. So, please come forward. I'm looking for Regina Freer, uh, Marco Ruiz, and go ahead. Hi, good morning. My name is Sophia Cheng with the Restaurant Opportunity Center or Rock LA. Discrimination and harassment are a fact of the service sector. Restaurants make up a dispor disproportionate number of EEOC claims for discrimination and harassment. Just one story, one example. Rock provides fine dining and bartending classes for our members. After one class, I saw three members with, quote, the right look and little experience get jobs immediately, while another member, an immigrant from Ethiopia with eight years of experience as a busser and server in a high volume West LA restaurant, struggle for eight months to find employment because of his race and accent. Employers need proactive support and training as well. Many managers see harassment, especially sexual harassment between guests and employees or between coworkers, and they don't have a consistent policy to deal with it. LA led the region on 15 and enforcement. We should do the same with discrimination. Thank you. Thank you. So is it Mr. Ruiz? And then if I could get Trina Trailer. Yes, sir. Hola, soy Marco, Marco Antonio Ruiz Madrigal. My name is Marco Antonio Ruiz. Este, soy un trabajador de car wash de Anaheim. I'm a worker, a car wash worker, and I work in Anaheim. Uh, vengo, vengo a apoyar a los trabajadores Afroamericanos. I'm here supporting African American workers. Uh, que no haya discriminación. So that there's no discrimination. Gracias. Thank you. No, thank you. Yes. Good morning, council members. My name is Regina Freer. I'm a professor at Occidental College. I teach race and equity issues, and I'm also a member of the Black Worker Center Coordinating Committee. And we marched up Broadway to get here today, um, and along the way, as is obvious to anybody who drives up Broadway, construction is booming. We literally saw one African-American construction worker when we walked. Discrimination is real, and you have the power to do something about it, and that's what we're ha here asking you to do today. Um, it is not the absence of black workers is not because the community doesn't want to work, and it's not because the community isn't ready to work. Both are uh, the case here. The job crisis is real. We ask that you please work with uh, to enforce um, discrimination, anti-discrimination laws that are already on the books, but in order to do so, resources have to be allocated. The Bureau of Contracts Administration, through the Human Relations Commission, must have the authority and the resources to work with our state and federal partners to enforce our state and federal laws we need your leadership, we need you to authorize the Thank authority, you. and we need you to enforce it with resources. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, if I can get uh, a Trina Trailer, I think it is, and a Kathy uh, a Deppie, and uh, Jan Tay Pruitt. Yes, identify yourself. Good morning, my name is Trina Trailer, and I've been a member of the Black Worker Center for two years. As a youth, I've made mistakes that adversely affected my record. As a black woman and as a black person, I know what discrimination feels like. Los Angeles must make anti-discrimination protection a priority so that black workers can get fair access to construction, entertainment jobs in our city. Our community is suffering because there's a black job crisis. Black workers are not take, or do not want a handout. So many workers have skills and want to quality work like me. I earned a bachelor's degree from UCLA last year, and I make $9.65 an hour as an IHSS worker. My daughter at 18 got a job, uh, acquired a job for Prime Health Care. She worked there for six years so I can acquire my degree, and she was discriminated against and pushed out of her job. She has been unemployed for two years. I have been underemployed for 30 years. Thank you. Thank you this so summer, much. No, thank you. So next speaker, please come forward. 
and identify yourself. My name is Kathy Deppi. I'm with 9 to 5 National Association of Working Women. We're all about rights, raises, and respect, the three R's. And we've come with, here today. We want to thank the council for raising the wage. We want to thank you for strengthening enforcement of the labor laws. We do have a right to be paid when we work, after all. But today, working women and their families still find it hard to find a job in the first place and to keep it and to, and to get that job and then to keep it. Equal opportunity is the law, but what good is the law if it's not enforced? So it's your responsibility to make sure that you strengthen the enforcement uh, of the laws against discrimination. So I want to say on behalf of all Angelinos, and especially women who make up half of the workforce, we ask that this council work to stop employment discrimination, to enforce our civil rights, and to open the doors to equal opportunity for all. Discrimination is a crime. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well said. So if I could get uh, Jante Pruitt, uh, Reverend Oliver, uh, and uh, Shirley Watson. Yes, ma'am, please identify yourself. Good morning. My name is Jante Pruitt. I'm an organizer at SCOPE. Um, we've been organizing low-income communities of color in South L.A. for over 20 years and waging campaigns for economic development and opportunities that are pathways out of poverty for our families. As we seek to create job training programs and that lead to career opportunities, we need to ensure that our communities have a real chance <clears throat> at being hired. Close to 50% of black working age adults in L.A. County are unemployed or underemployed. It's not that our community members are not able to do the work, um, that keep LA a world-class city, but rather we need the opportunities and we're faced with the reality <clears throat> that we do not have a fair chance at these jobs. We need to stop the unacceptable discriminatory practices that keep our families in poverty and that make our families and communities unhealthy. We need a local system that ensures protection of our civil rights for workers. We ask the LA City Council to take action to support our efforts to ensure that low-income communities of color have a fair opportunity of being hired. Thank you. Um, and we want to make sure that there is Thank a discrimination complaint resolu resolution center. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Reverend. <laughs> Reverend, please come forward. Good morning, yes, Mr. Sir. President and City Council members. I'm Reverend Oliver E. Bowie from Holman United Methodist Church. And I'm standing with the Black Worker Center and to address this um, job crisis that exists within the African-American community. Also would like to bring to your, the council's attention of Seattle and Portland who have already initiated a social justice and rac racial equity initiative, racial equity, equity initiative to ensure that uh, people are treated equal. And I believe personally, let me say this, I'm happy with much of the work that you have done. I want to compliment you for that. But I want to say that we need to do more. Um, and as we look to move forward and as we say that Los Angeles is a first class city, we want to lead the way. And I believe that you have the power, the authority and the vision to lead the way in this issue. And I look forward to the changes you, that are needed. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Bowie. Okay, Ms. Watson, Shirley Watson. Ms. Shirley Watson. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. President morning. and Council. My name is Shirley Watson, and, I'm, and I am 60 years young. I am a recent widow and a daughter, 22 years old, and a member of the Los Angeles Black Workers Center. I am currently an unemployed part-time IHSS provider. I was gainfully employed with a major aerospace company uh, from 1984 to 2007. At that time, manage new management came in, and when I went for help, um, it, they told me it would take nine months to get around to my case, so I lost my job. Um, I returned to school and earned a master's degree in 2011, thinking that that would change nothing. Um, there is a human price to pay when the laws are ignored. Um, if institutions were working, we wouldn't have a black job crisis. I don't want my daughter to have the same struggles as she's in Northridge College right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Okay, now we just did some of our general public comment. We're now going to switch back to some actual items that are on the agenda. Uh, we want to move to item 33, and that is Mr. Murphy. Are you still here? If you'd come forward, Sean, followed by Mr. John Walsh. Thank you all for coming down this morning. Thank you all so very much. Yes, another item I am supporting. Thank you, uh, Mr. Murphy. Mr. Walsh? There, Al. Fast enough. John Walsh blogging at HollywoodHighlands.org or Jay Walsh Confidential tweeting at Hollywood Dems. Uh, here we are on item 33, my favorite item. Uh, this is uh, the REAP rent escrow account program. It's uh, kind of unique in, uh, in LA. If uh, what the, these are a list of uh, landlords who are no longer getting their rent from their tenants because they did not repair the uh, out of code violations in the apartment after it was it was reported to the city. So uh, what happens here here is that once uh, they uh, start losing the rent, uh, the landlords are very very quick to. Uh, remove these properties by actually repairing the apartments. HollywoodHighlands.org. Okay, thank you. Let's prepare to vote on this item. Let us, uh, Madam Clerk, please open the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 13 ayes. Okay, uh, item 43, uh, Mr. Dude. Item 43, Mr. Dude. I was uh, more ready to talk on item 33, actually. No, you're on item 43, so I come forward. I understand that now, but uh, you kind of hit and switch on me. Uh, 43. Uh, gee, I don't even know if I give a... Okay. Are you prepared to speak on this item, Mr. Uh, I'm prepared to speak on anything, actually, but... No, you're off the subject. I got to know what the hell I'm talking about. No, you're Just the one like that you. signed up to speak on this, so you're... It would be nice if you knew what you were talking about when you signed up to speak. Mr. Previn on item 43 as well. Mr. Previn, I saw you. Yeah, there you are. Mr. Previn, item 43. You're disrupting the meeting. Please stop it. Come forward, Mr. Previn. Sir, uh, to, to, thank you, sir. It's Eric Previn from CD2. And to be fair to Mr. Akala, it is confusing after a big no, no, presentation. You just speak no, I know, on but your, just, your he's not, issue. He's not a spry young guy like me. No, no, no. It speak takes to a minute 40. to get on page. I, I'm okay. I'm okay with you, speak sir. Speak to but, 43, Mr. Okay, Previn. Okay, I'm not okay with you. You make people small. It's not appropriate. Now, I'll get on 43 right now, which is Martinez Buscaino. Thank you once again. Because these guys... Hold on, guys. Keep, keep it down. You're disrupting the meeting. Go on, Mr. Previn. These guys are... Uh, sir... These guys are finally, and along with Martinez at another item on this agenda, are finally putting up the gates we need to solve our homeless problem. And I, I want to appreciate, I want to lay out some of the appreciation there. Because the only way to prevent these little corridors that exist from being, uh, at night, infiltrated by people who are seeking uh, a place to be either, you know, sort of uh, hang out, do drugs, bad things, good things, it's unclear. Uh, we, we have to gate them up. And that's what we did one in Silver Lake. We're doing them all over the place wherever we can, but it's not a real solution, sir. What we have to do is stem the tide of people who are out late at night 
doing bad stuff. So that is on point, as the city attorney will point, will, will confirm. No, just because these stay gates on 43. Are, these gates, well, sir, you could check with him again, because these gates He are, just told me, so just stay on 43. All right, but they're documented, sir. This is not light stuff. These are about, I think it's 20 grand for this one. Well, hang on. No, it's 18,852, so we got, a, we got a little discount on this one. But look, sir, I appreciate what you're trying to do by having a big civil rights demonstration in the middle of the meeting. And I, I am supportive of those people. I just don't understand why we couldn't see their faces. And I would like okay, to... Okay, you're off. So Thank please you. Take that. Thank you very much. Let's prepare to vote on this item. Let's open the roll. Close the roll and tabulate the vote. 14 ayes. Okay. Now let's do item 38. Uh, Mr. Dude on item 38. Item, don't, just come on up on item 38. Well, uh, I was ready uh, to tell you that uh, black, black Lives Matter. Okay, you're off the subject again. Thank you. If I could have Mr. Walsh, if I could have Mr. Walsh, John Walsh. Number 38, John Walsh blogging at HollywoodHighlands.org, or J. Walsh Confidential tweeting at Hollywood Dems. Number 38, this is a, this is a tree removal services. Uh, this one is on Las Palmas, not too far from uh, where I live. You know, well, we spend enormous amount of money on tree removal when we could spend a very sm much smaller amount on tree restoration. Take a look at the, this is a Hollywood adjacent. Take a look at how terrible the trees look on, I remember when we really had great trees. 1966, when I first came here and set foot, we had excellent trees in, in, in LA. But now the trees are falling apart and there's always money to remove them. There's no money to plant them. Hollywoodhighlands.org. All right, thank you very much. All right, having no other cards uh, on this item, seeing no speakers on the queue, we'll go ahead and open the roll. Close the roll and tabulate the vote. 14 ayes. Great, thank you very much. Next item, please. Um, yeah, uh, fourth with per uh, council member Rue without objection and that'll be the order thank you very much councilman um, we'll go ahead and uh, take the next item please Mr. President that brings us to item 35 called special for cards John Uh, this number 35 is uh, concerns technical amendments. I get worried when I hear the term technical amendments. You're s sneaking something in. And this is very important. This is tenant relocation assistance program. So, I mean, the, the plan is to tear down every uh, uh, all the uh, affordable housing in Hollywood, and then we're going to get tenant relocation. Well, uh, and the developer is going to help. Uh, the developer champion told us uh, they, they want to get re relocate us. Well, you'll just have to move to another neighborhood. You know, uh, move. Uh, he actually said to me, "Why don't you move into a neighborhood where there are a lot of minorities? The rents are lower there." Can you believe that a developer? I said, it's true. But uh, uh, in fact, I said, I told him, "I'm Jewish. I deserve an, a, a white neighborhood." HollywoodHighlands.org. Patricia McAllister. Okay, 
I don't understand how you can allocate this money for uh, relocation. It says here, um, consideration of motion by Cedillo and Harris, this guy, this black guy right over here who does nothing for black people. You want to request the city attorney to um, make amendments relative to a payment of relocation assistance to designate the housing department to be responsible for administering all aspects of the Senate, city's tenant relocation. How can you have money for relocation when you're throwing people out on the street? Where's this money going? It's going in your pockets. I know the game. You're not relocating nobody. We want a list of the people you relocated. That money is going in pockets. You're not, people go down there to get relocation money and they're told they don't qualify. They're told that there's no money, no more money in the fund. When the mayor said he spent $100 million on the homeless, what a lie could that be when he didn't even spend $77 million that HUD gave him? Where is the money? We're going to send some of you Negroes to prison. And I want some black activists to come down here and speak to these three Negroes, Price, Wesson, and Dawson. We need to tell you how you're supposed to represent black people. You're going to need some black militants to tell you how to do that. You Negroes come to the parade smiling okay, and everything. You, please stay. You're not on, you are not on subject. You're not on subject. Thank you very much. All right. With that, having no other cards. Uh, Wayne, John, if you guys are going to applaud and, and uh, disrupt the meeting and hoot and holler, then we're going to ask you to leave the meeting. So, please. Rules of decorum still apply. Thank you. Uh, Wayne, I don't have a card for you, nor did I call you up. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. You're disrupting this meeting. <clears throat> Thank you for your random thoughts. Appreciate that once again. All right. With that, um, we'll go ahead and uh, we have no other cards on this item. We'll go ahead and open the roll, close the roll, and tabulate the vote. 14 eyes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take item 30 next. And uh, Council Member Kretz, did you wish to open it up? We have a, we have a request. Uh, I just had a question for the department about uh, uh, what the status is of the uh, amendments that were made uh, dealing with the issues in the various districts that are yet unresolved. Okay, is there anybody from the department here that uh, can come up to the table? 